Good Monday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Conversations Daily News. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Well, it's a brand new day, it's a brand new week, and that means a brand new opportunity for you to get things right. We, of course, have your news headlines coming up today. We have a brand new Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Zaganovich. And today, in an entertainment spotlight, you've been part of my conversation with the incomparable Stacey Dash. Enjoy today's program. For Conversations Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with your Monday headlines. In Mississippi news, the Mississippi State Department of Health has reported 1,196 new COVID-19 cases and 21 additional deaths on Sunday. There have now been in Mississippi 264,219 COVID-19 cases and 5,772 coronavirus-related deaths in the state since March. In national COVID-19 news, two in five Americans live where COVID-19 strains hospital ICUs. Straining to handle record numbers of COVID-19 patients, hundreds of the nation's intensive care units are running out of space and supplies and competing to hire temporary traveling nurses at soaring rates. Many of the facilities are clustered in the South and West. An Associated Press analysis of federal hospital data shows that since November, the share of U.S. hospitals nearing the breaking point has doubled. More than 40% of Americans now live in areas running out of ICU space, with only 15% of beds still available. Intensive care units are the final defense for the sickest of the sick, patients who are nearly suffocating or facing organ failure. Nurses who work in the most stressed ICUs, changing IV bags and monitoring patients on breathing machines, are exhausted. According to data through last Thursday from the COVID-19 tracking project, Hospitalizations are still high in the West and the South, with over 80,000 current COVID-19 hospital patients in those regions. The number of cases reported in the U.S. since the pandemic start surpassed 25 million on Sunday, according to John Hopkins University. Hospitals say they're uploading high standards for patient care, but experts say surges compromise many normal medical practices. Overwhelmed hospitals might be forced to mobilize makeshift ICUs and staff them with personnel without any experience in critical care. They might run out of sedatives, antibodies, IVs, or other supplies they rely on to keep patients calm and comfortable while on ventilators. In news you might have missed, Senate confirms retired General Lloyd Austin to lead the Pentagon, making him the nation's first black secretary of defense. In more national news, Biden's executive actions for economic relief at a glance. President Joe Biden signed a pair of executive orders on Friday aimed at offering a quick dose of relief to an economy still being hammered by the coronavirus. Both measures were largely stopgaps as Congress considers a $1.9 trillion stimulus plan from the new president. The orders aim to increase food aid, make it easier to claim government benefits, protect unemployed workers, and point federal workers and contractors toward a $15 an hour minimum wage. The Nutrition and Government Aid aims to increase by 15% the amount of money going to families of children who are missing meals because of school closures from the pandemic. For children who can no longer eat in schools, they receive payments to cover food costs at home equal to $5.70 per child per school day. The order asks the Agricultural Department to consider issuing new guidance that would make accurately reflect the cost of the missing meals and make it easier to claim benefits. And finally, in entertainment news, Conversations Daily News pays tribute to Larry King, who died at age 87. Larry King, the suspender sporting every man who's broadcast interviews with world leaders, movie stars, and ordinary Joes, helped define American conversation for a half century, died on Saturday. He was 87 years old. King died at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, his production company, Aura Media, tweeted. No cause of death was given, but a spokesperson said January the 4th that King had COVID-19, had received supplemental oxygen, and been moved out of intensive care. His son, Chance Armstrong, also confirmed King's death, CNN reported. A longtime nationally syndicated radio host from 1985 through 2010, he was a nightly fixture on CNN where he won many honors, including two Peabody Awards. With his celebrity interviews, political debates, and topical discussions, King wasn't just an enduring on-air personality. He also set himself apart with the curiosity he brought to every interview. 
whether questioning the assault victim known as the Central Park jogger or billionaire industrialist Ross Perot, who in 1992 rocked the presidential contest by announcing his candidacy on King's show. King conducted an estimated 50,000 on-air interviews. In 1995, he presided over a Middle East peace summit with PLO chairman Yasser Arafat. Especially after he relocated to Los Angeles, his shows were frequently in the thick of breaking celebrity news, including Paris Hilton talking about her stint in jail in 2007 and Michael Jackson's friends and family members talking about his death in 2009. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's now time for the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Teganovich. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Mary Ellen with your Truth of the Day. Take time today to acknowledge your growth. Regularly take time to recognize the scope of your many accomplishments. What did you learn this year or in the past few months? How will you do better in the future? Intentionally contemplate your progress instead of languishing in your past mistakes. Look closely at your life to see how you can achieve your future goals. What do you do to bring yourself pleasure or have some fun? How do you show your joy throughout your day? Remind yourself of the insights you have learned through time. How is your life different now than in the past? We are all changing from day to day, month to month, and year by year. Create a list or keep a journal to list your strengths, weaknesses, and future plans. Make sure you include facts about how your future plans will come into existence. Your now moment is simply a reality you created through your choices, passions, and diligent work ethic. Today, congratulate yourself on your successes as you enjoy the day. Stacy Dash is featured in today's Entertainment Spotlight. We're here on Conversations Daily News. For Conversations Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with the Entertainment Spotlight. Actress Stacy Dash is known to many from the television show and movie Clueless, but she's been able to do some amazing things along the way. She talked to me exclusively on Conversations Live, the radio show, about her journey and her connection with her fans. Here's a bit of our conversation. You know, I know a lot of people who stay connected with you thanks to social media. Um, you know, that's kind of become the lifeline for so many people. You use Twitter, Instagram as well, Stacy, and we're able to kind of keep up with you there. You know, of course, you look amazing, but I love the fact that you're able to share such positive affirmations, uh, you know, almost yeah, weekly thank there. You. I mean, what has that been like for you to use those platforms and not only be able to share what you're doing, but also to share who you are? I think it's so important, you know, especially in the time we're in for such a time as this, that you share that you are human like everybody else, you know, because yeah. sometimes people think because they've seen you in a film or something that life is different or occurs differently for you, you know, that you don't have the same human frailty and you don't go through the same failures and, you know, you don't go through the same insecurities and we all do. And so... I like to share the, that and be honest about that and share my truth and also my faith in God, you know, yeah. because I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't have him, especially during this past year. It's been very, very difficult for us all. And I know that God has brought me through this. Yeah, I think that is so true, Stacey. I think we can all agree with you on that. And, you know, I, I found out um, through our mutual friend, your publicist, Jessica, when setting up the segment, something that I did not know, and that was your passion for interior design. Talk to us about that. I mean, <laughs> when did that start for you? Uh, that's been my whole life. I've done that my whole life. I would change my bedroom around when I was a kid all the time, paint my walls, do different things. And then as I got older and got my own places, my friends would come over and say, oh, my God, what this is amazing. This is great. How'd you think of that? How'd you do that? Will you come do this for me? And I'm, you know, I just, over the past eight years, I'm like, you know what? Maybe this is something I should do. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. But we'll have you guys on tomorrow with more news, Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Teganovich, and of course, your entertainment spotlight. Until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Daily News today. Let's make it a great one.